Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, retired professor from Kochi University of Science and Technology, presently working as adjunct professor. In this video, we are going to present how to draw an ellipse by rectangle method. Drawing an ellipse by rectangle method and drawing normal and tangent at any point on the ellipse. Agreed? Okay. Now, the question is saying, major axis is 100, minor axis is 60. So I construct a, a rectangle. I construct a rectangle. I construct a rectangle whose sides are 100 and whose sides are 100 and 60. I call this A, B, the major axis, C, D, the minor axis, and O as the center. Agreed? Then, this can be named as E, F, G, H. Agreed? Now, I divide A, O into say 4 equal parts. And then I divide A, E also into 4 equal parts. Now, in this particular case, how much is A, O? A, O is 100 by 2 is equal to 50. 50 can be reasonably divided into 4 equal parts of 12.5 mm each. If the distance is divisible, directly divide. If it is not divisible, go for the procedure. Agreed? Okay. That you will do yourself. This is how much? 60 by 2. 30. 30 can be divided into 4 equal parts of 7.5 mm each. That also is manageable, but if you prefer, you can go for procedure of dividing. And name, it, name this as 1, 2, 3. Name this as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash. Join 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash to C. Very light firm lines. Very light firm lines. Join D1 and extend by a straight line. Join D1 and extend. It cut C1 dash at P1. Join D2 and extend. It cut C2 dash at P2. Join D3 and extend. It cut D, uh, C3 dash at P3. You have got three points. Where are they? P1, P2, P3. You can repeat the same procedure in the other three segments. Or you can transfer points. How do you transfer point? Draw a horizontal line through P3. Very light line. Horizontal line through P2. Horizontal line through P1. Take this distance and mark from there. You get the corresponding point there. Take this distance and mark here. You get the corresponding point there. Take this distance and mark here. You get the corresponding point here. Agree? You have got the three corresponding points in this quadrant. This segment. Now, draw vertical lines through them. Very light. Very light. Take this distance and mark here. Get the point there. Take this distance and mark here. Get the point here. Take the distance and mark here. You get the point there. Either come down or come here in this direction. Connect all these points by a smooth curve. You get an edge. Since I am not following correct dimensions, there will be huge difference in the correct true shape and the shape which I get. This is the edge. Agreed? This is the edge. You have to keep the construction lines very light and dark the ellipse curve only. Once you darken it, no. Da draw only once. If it is not correct, erase it and dark. Don't thicken it by drawing lines nearer to that. Don't do that. Erase it and correct. Agreed? Okay. Now, you can find the fossa if you want. How do you do that? Take AO in your compass, see your center, cut arcs on other sides. Only one arc. You get F1 and F2. Agreed? Now, if you are asked to draw normal and tangent at any point K, suppose this is K, you want to draw normal and tangent at K, what do you do? Join KF1, KF2, draw the angular bisector, Tangent, draw its perpendicular. I mean, angular bisector, normal, perpendicular, tangent. Agreed? So you have learned how to draw, how to draw an ellipse by a rectangle method. 
you have also learned how to draw the normal and tangent at any point on the curve. I think it is clear. This method is also called oblong method. Now, you can construct the same thing in a parallelogram instead of a rectangle. If you construct a parallelogram, if you construct a parallelogram, the same method is used, you divide this into four equal parts, you divide this into four equal parts, join them to that, extend it and right, join it and extend. Get points there. You can transfer points here, come down. When you come down, draw, don't come down that degree, draw lines parallel to this. Okay, you get them. And if you connect them, When you connect them, when you connect them, you will be getting a suddenly drooping curve there, a longer curve here, and suddenly drooping here, uh, curve here. Agreed? You have got a university question using this method, which we will solve later. Okay. Thank you.